Hey there. So, um, on the topic of prayer, uh, why pray? Why is prayer important? If God already knows all about you and knows all that he has written, why should you pray? It's because God created us to have free will. He wants us to come to him willingly and not as robotic creations. He has given us a mind to make decisions, and the most important decision is about eternity. Even though he knows the future, we don't know the future choices we will make. It's important to live by his guidance to make the right choices. In the Bible, you will find kings, prophets, and ordinary people like you and me averted destruction by praying to God. One prayer stopped the sun. One prayed fire down from heaven. One gained 15 years to his own life. And one prayer even saved a whole city. These people prayed intensely to the God who answers prayer. When you pray, God listens to your cries. When you don't pray, God feels left out of your life. He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. First Peter, I'm sorry, 2 Peter 3, 9b. As you pray consistently, you are affirming the existence of God in your life. You are building your faith as you see God's hand do his mighty work on your behalf just because you asked. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks it receives. He who seeks finds. And to him who knocks the door will be opened. Matthew 7, 7 through 8. Okay, so um, from allaboutprayer.org, the subject of unanswered prayer, unheard answers. Are you experiencing unanswered prayer? Does God turn a deaf ear to some of your desperate pleas for healing, finances, or protection? We all experience irritation when our best efforts to communicate result in an unsatisfactory response. Or worse, no response at all. We wonder, did you ever receive my message? When we pray, we often equate the lack of immediate, tangible results with God rejecting our prayers. In James 5:13 to 16, we are urged to pray earnestly with the promise of powerful and wonderful results. Why would God emphasize the importance of prayer and then choose not to respond with a joyful answer? When answering prayer, God responds first to our attitude, much as a parent responds to a precious child. Psalm 103:13 to 14. Our childish actions and attitudes frequently affect a prayer's desired results: unforgiveness, selfishness, doubt, greed, pride, and stubbornness hinder God's desire to answer prayer. Continue on with um, uh, a look at uh, Biggie Smalls. Um, for his rapping career, Wallace began rapping when he was a teenager. He would entertain people on the streets as well as perform with local groups. The Old Gold Brothers and the Techniques. After being released from prison, Wallace made a demo tape under the name Biggie Smalls, a reference to his childhood nickname and to his stature. He stood at six foot three and weighed as much as 300 to 380 pounds, according to differing accounts. The tape was reportedly made with no serious intent of getting a recording deal, but was promoted by New York-based DJ Mr. C. Hey there, it's Josh. You're watching Living Soul Fest, and... Um, Kind of getting excited here because um, the next clip after the... It is Tuesday, March 13, 2012, and I'm going to be reading to you from my prayer journal until I get a repeat. For me, Lord, use me as your instrument to minister life, hope, help, and healing to others, especially to the non-believers. I do not want to be so focused on my own life and overlook your master plan. For me, empower the gift that you have planted in me so that I may can fully, fully utilize them. 1 Peter 4.10, each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. For Naomi, what's good? For Brittana Rockefeller, heal her shoulder. For me, enough is enough. I want more of you, and I want the life that reflects this choice. How long do I have to wait? For Violet Gurian, protection and what's good in Israel right now. For me, help me want to follow you again. For me, so now we're getting kicked. Well, okay. Uh, I'm not really sure. Yeah, all right. I, I kind of have to read this one as is because. 
Um, there's no other way to explain it. So now we're getting kicked out of the place with Bev and Paul after being here less than a month. We didn't have to leave Kendall Street, and now we have nowhere to go. I don't want to be here, but wherever we go, I want my cats with us. So what are you going to do about it now, God? For Michelle Centil, what's good? For me, right now, I need to be constantly uploading every day. I ask that you support me in this. Well, with the terabyte drive, that soon is going to end. <clears throat> terabyte drive broken, and all the Soulfest footage, and Misfit Acres footage, and old Josh Tube footage, and all the old footage that I've been trying to get out for years. That drive is dead. For me, I pray that I could quit smoking. For me, I want another guitar. Nick Cardi, what's good? Ian Murphy, what's good? America, that we would wake up in time to stop Obama from becoming our first dictator. For Joshua Brandon Weeks, what's good? For me, I will follow my Lose It plan today. Oh! <laughs> for Chris McNeely, what's good? For G, praise, please pray for her job situation. Um, they need a job where they can use their skills and provide for their family. Need wisdom to network properly. I don't know if that prayer's ever been answered. It's old. For Felon Dupree, that Sundays would absolutely suck until she comes back to church. If they don't already. For me, can I get permission to fast? Maybe. For Aaron McNeely, what's good? For Christy Hazard, for healing for Zachary. And for Michelle Santil, what's good? And that is our repeat. And we are done. Hey folks, so while Channel Tanner, the Today Show is um, doing traffic and news and stuff in the background. I'm going to read to you Christian updates on Facebook as part of my morning devotional. Um, the Bible is, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen, Hebrews 11.1. And some fog around the area as well, but as we go through the day, we see some sunshine break out late this morning. We see highs around 60 on the coast, 68 inland. There's the murky view from our tower cam right now. Visibility is running about two to four miles across the region, a little lower on Hyannis, so it's mostly in the form of haze, and that's not going to bother you a whole lot. Temperatures now ranging 41 in Taunton to 50 in Westerly. That forecast then calls for a mild weather to continue through the rest of the week cooler over the weekend. Frank? In the news, Gary, the teenager who lost his Rhode Island driver's license for life is due back in court later today. Lyle Topa crashed his car after a drinking party at a former school committee member's home last October. He injured himself and three other teenagers. That uh, driver's license revocation for the Cheryl High School student came from what? the traffic court. Topa today will be in Jesus court. speaks. And Surely I am with you always to the very end of the age, Matthew 28, 19. From belief changers, Lord, there is none.